Well, I'm doing a bit of a tech review, hence the glasses, because I need to see need them to see what I'm doing. Out shopping today and picked up this Moby space pack, which has got extra battery and extra storage and a case. Allegedly, it's give me an extra 16,000 photos, 14 hours of videos and an extra 9,000 songs. Not that I ever had that many, but photos and videos would be useful. And an extra battery life of 8 hours talk time, 10 hours video playback and 40 hours of music playback. Let's uh, get it open and see what it looks like. So. Taking out the pack, we have one case. You've got at the bottom your charger and your headphone jack. On the inside, you've got your insert, and obviously, you've got your camera slot and all your buttons, etc. It also comes with a headphone jack and a USB charger cable, which is a mini USB charger cable, should I say. And then a quick start guide. There's an app you download, which I have already done. An app called Space. Download from App Store. No idea how that's going to work, but we'll see how that goes on. Requires a free mobile space app for that for you to access, manage, and automatically organise and store your files. To be perfectly honest, that quick guide, guide, quick start guide, is absolutely bloody useless. Tells you nothing. There's a little switch at the bottom. When it's on red, that means it's not using the battery. When it's on green, it means it is. Fairly obvious, I suppose. And I think that's just a battery level indicator, little button. The pack itself seems quite a tight fit. You just literally just slide, slide that straight in. Now the buttons work. You see this bit. Fingers on and off. The yeah, volume button works, etc. Just plug your extra battery and reader in it. And if you plug your charger in, and then just press your space, and then the first thing it does is ask you to register your space pack. So I'll register it. So that's registered. So add device. Oh, right, okay, so that's already added. As soon as you plug it in and register it, it's deviced and set up. Space pack, so this is just a case of using your app then. Seems all right. Case don't look too bad. Makes for a bigger case, probably a bit more iPhone 6 or 7 size, but I feel too bad, the camera don't look too restricted. See how that pans out, and we'll let you know. Bye for now. I've been using this Morphe case and battery backup and extra storage for a couple of weeks now. And I just thought I'd give you my thoughts of it, what I thought of it. First thing, in terms of the battery, it's great. You know, it's great because you can just literally just flip it across and you put extra charge in your battery. Brilliant for that. Not use the headphone jack on it, but obviously there's just an adapter for that, so that's relatively straightforward, and you'll see it on that. It doesn't affect sound or anything like that by having it covering the bottom ports. Quite nice because you just use a micro USB connection for charging it up, or if you want to use your other one, it's relatively easy to just take off and put your normal iPhone lightning connector on it. In terms of the extra storage, the only way you can use the extra storage is to use the Spacers app, which I'm not that impressed with, I'll be honest. Because it's relatively basic. You had to use the Spacers camera to take photos, I'm not sure it did video, and you obviously don't have the same level of control as you would do with the iPhone camera. In terms of quality of finish, that's been in my pocket just with, probably just with a few coins and a key. And in probably just doing that once, I've got scratches all over the back of the case. So I'm not overly impressed with the finish. But overall it's quite nice, it's, it feels quite nice, it just makes it feel like probably about the size of an iPhone 7, something like that. So all in all, I think for what we paid for it, I think we only paid about eight, seven, eight pounds for it, something like that from TK Maxx. I'm happy with it. If I'd have gone and paid full price for it, I would have been less impressed. But I suppose it depends on your needs, it depends on what you want to do with it. I'd have said, if you just wanted extra storage and you were quite happy just taking quick snaps and photos, brilliant. If you needed it for just document storage and stuff like that, again, probably okay for that. No, wouldn't be a major issue. Great for the extra battery. The size of the case does feel quite nice, doesn't feel too big. So. I'm 
it's okay for that. All in all, I'd say posit reasonably positive. Like I say, I don't think I'd have paid necessarily paid full price for it. And I certainly wouldn't have picked one in this colour. So, I think for the price I paid for it, it would have been about the same price as buying a case for the phone. So, it was worth a gamble. And I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. So I suppose that makes it a success more than anything. I, ha I think I have dropped it once. And I've noticed that there's a hairline crack at the bottom. Just above the Morphe logo. Where it's been engraved, it looks like it's just put a hairline crack in it. Nothing major, but yeah, the price I paid for it, it was definitely worth the gamble. I intend to keep it, because I haven't got another case at all anyway, but it is practical for that. And yeah, overall, good. So thanks for that. If you'd like to see more of these tech reviews, subscribe. If you want to be notified of them, hit the bell. And if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Bye for now.